Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Um, just wanted to come on and give a quick review of um, one of my Christmas presents which was the Breaking the Patterns book from Named Clothing and also just to show you the first make from it which is the silly, no it's not, it's the Busker, not dress. So I had this for Christmas, it's a beautiful book, uh, really nicely illustrated, good quality paper and you've got all your patterns in the back, just tucked away in the back there. But if you don't want to trace them, after I discovered, because I did, I, when I was cutting this out, for some reason I just really struggled with one of the pieces. Um, just the way it was laid out on the pattern, I just couldn't quite figure how to trace it. Um, and then I found out you can actually um, download the PDF patterns off their um, site. So I went onto their site, you have to just pop a code in, and then you can get access to the PDF patterns. Um, so that's what I did, and that was a lot simpler. So, yeah, it's got several several um, outfits you can make. The first one I wanted to do was the busker knot dress, which is that one there. The um, thing I like about it is the fact that it's actually got um, each each pattern has got several different variations. So the busker knot dress it also comes as a knit dress which is that one and then you've got the t-shirt version which is that one there those jeans actually I think are the ones that are also in the book and you've got a tunic version which is the longest length version with a slit up the front and that's that one there and then obviously you could um, mix and match sleeve lengths and such so yeah there's quite a few combinations you can do um, so as I said I wanted to do the knot dress first I've seen lots of versions popping up on the internet and really fancied giving it a go um, we're going away for a night with uh, my brother-in-law and for a nice meal at the end of January so I wanted something to wear for that so this is my dress um, I've made it in a, so it's called a, a stretch modal, which I had from um, Sew so Over It. I actually looked last night and I think there's only about one metre left now, so yeah, I think it sold out pretty quickly. I think she used it for her, um, one of her vlogs, uh, for one of the dresses she's done in her new ebook, so that's probably why it was so popular. But yeah, it's a lo lovely fabric, um, works well with this pattern. Um, I only actually had, because the pattern says that you need, just check, yeah, it says the uh, fabric quantity required is 1.7 um, metres. I only had 1.5 metres uh, because um, where, where I bought it from, uh, you have to buy by the half metre, so it was either that or by two metres and have leftover fabric, which I was trying to be economical, so... I only bought the 1.5 metres. I did struggle to get all the pattern pieces in because the this uh, top part, it's like um, if you can see, it's got um, it's got the ties, so it makes it quite a long um, long piece to cut out. Uh, so yeah, I did, I did, that was quite tricky, but I, I did just about um, manage it. Um, I think if if you had a printed pattern. I think you'd really struggle so that's something to bear in mind um, but yeah I, I got there in the end um, yeah it was uh, putting it together very straightforward really the two the, the front panel you just have to sew a seam up the middle um, hem around the um, hem around the ties that was probably the trickiest part uh, doing the doing the hem on the um, you have to fold it over twice and uh, just do a hem. Um, but then once that's done, it's basically a case of attaching this to the other front piece. So you have the wrong side of this attached at the at the shoulders to the right side of the under piece. Um, and then once that's done, it's pretty much standard sort of knit. It's um, stitching for um, jersey fabric so just uh, side seams uh, sleeves were 
put it on the flat so yeah it is fa it's a fairly easy sew um size wise um i went with my body measurements and yeah, it's pretty much uh spot on i'd say maybe do a slightly larger size on the hips next time um when i first put it on i thought it was too tight but i think the fabric has given a little bit now so yeah it's uh not too, not too bad i'm just not used to the more clingy clothes i think but yeah i'm really 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 pleased with it definitely be making more and definitely making other things out of the book uh, some really nice uh, patterns the next one i've got my eye on is the where's that other oh, selena i think it's called um the, the dress which Again, it's got a, a tie on the front. I'm quite into these uh, ties at the front of uh, dresses now. I think it hides uh, tummies. Um, so yeah, yeah, I fancy doing that one next. Um, probably do a shorter version because I'm not. I think the book says these are made up for people who are about five foot eight, and I'm only five foot two. So I think um, it might bury me if I did the full length. Although say, saying that, I did I did the actual length on this one, and it's come. If you can if you can see, I'm a bit close to the uh, canvas. It is just above my knees, so I think if I was uh, any taller, I think for my own personal preference, it would have been too short. Um, so yeah, um, really fancy doing that one next. Um, there's also patterns for the more adventurous. There's also a pattern for some jeans somewhere. The pe payload jeans, those are called. Those are those. And at the very back, there's also a pattern for a coat. So, fancy challenging yourself. Um, that's the coat. So, yep. Yeah, um, so all in all, really pleased with the book. I can see myself doing several of the patterns here. Um, and just experimenting really, just uh, seeing how you can put the different pieces together and make different styles. So yeah, the book was actually, it says £26 in the UK. Um, I think my husband got it off Amazon, so I'm not quite sure what these prices on Amazon. Um, they're usually very competitive. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for a new book, I would definitely recommend this one. So, thanks for watching. Um, I have put more details of my dress over on my blog, which I will put um, details of below. And there's also more pictures on my Instagram account. So, see you again soon.